What's up, party people? What's happening? Um, I've been always, I always get on here and say, I always read something. I'm always checking something out. And I always say to myself, like, uh, I want to make a video about that. And today I just said, you know, just get up and freaking do it. Just do it. And here I am doing it. But anyway, I was reading this article this morning and I'm really interested. You know, it's the kind of stuff that kind of sparks my interest. It's about, um, this uh this satellite that's falling towards earth is supposed to hit like friday or so you know and they say you know the chances of you getting hit by this satellite is like one in three thousand um thirty two hundred you know as far as you know one in thirty two hundred chances of getting hit by this piece of um, satellite that's falling towards earth and I thought that was kind of amazing. I was like, wow, that's kind of, you know, hope nobody gets hurt, hope nobody gets hit, but it's kind of cool. Like the fact that, you know, this thing is falling towards earth and it's like the size of a freaking school bus, you know, that's kind of crazy. Like, I hope it falls in the water, but as I was reading the article and what really sparked my interest the most was the fact that, you know, it was talking about how, you know, we as human beings here on earth only use like 5% of the earth. You know, and I was like, wow, that's kind of crazy. I thought we kind of used a little bit more than that. I know the earth is like 70% water and all that jazz, but, you know, we only use 5% of the earth, you know, as human beings, you know. And I was like, hmm, you know, I mean, it, it really made me deep, you know, think real deeply about how, you know, sometimes we get a real grandiose attitude towards life almost in general as you know as human beings we just you know we are the most intelligent you know species on the earth you know known or in the universe or whatever but I mean it's like sometimes we just we just get a big head and we just think that we just we just you know uh we just think that we I don't know I, I'm kind of lost for words where we just think that we just, sometimes we just don't give honor to something that's bigger than us. You know, um, you know, uh, my source you know, is God, and Jesus Christ, you know. Um, that's who I give praises to uh, and I acknowledge as far as the creator of all this, you know. And sometimes we just, we just really don't give honor and respect to just something bigger than us, you know. And it's like... I thought it was kind of amazing that the earth is, you know, so huge and so big that we only use so little, you know, and I'm like, come on, man, you know, get over yourself, you know, I mean, as human beings, get over yourself, really, I mean, that we, we haven't even conquered, you know, living it with, you know, all the problems going on in the world today as far as, you know, hunger and, um, you know, uh, the recession and, and the economy and all these things, man. I mean, I kind of feel like if we just kind of space things out and we conquered 30% of the earth, we wouldn't have so many problems. Wouldn't be such a recession. So it wouldn't be such a problem on this earth if we as human beings just mastered, you know, conquering more as far as the earth which we've only conquered about five percent i mean there's places in you know um the mountains in california that you know that people really don't even live because um it's not livable or whatever the word is i, I don't know but i mean it's just i just thought it was kind of amazing and i just kind of wanted to just you know ask you guys opinion how you guys felt about that have you ever thought about it in that manner as far as you know, we only live, we only, we only, we only have conquered 5% of the earth, you know, who the heck are you, <laughs> you know, so, I don't know, pick up a Bible and, you know, give praises to the most high or whoever your most high is, you know, really acknowledge that, try, try to really think about that today and acknowledge that with some fact of, you know, you you a small fry. If you ever seen Men in Black, you ever seen uh, I think it was Men in Black two or three where they was going through uh, the whole mission and they just was you know all kind of stuff was going on with Will Smith and uh, um, I think his name is Tommy Lee um, Curtis or something I don't know his name but anyway um, 
you know, uh, 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 the, uh, they open up the locker, you know, at the end of the, of the movie, and he was like, hey, uh, um, Agent K, let them know how, why don't you talk to them and let them know how little they are, but they was in a locker themselves, that's the kind of feeling I'm having right now, whatever, goodbye. <laughs>